بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين حمدا كثيرا طيبا مباركا فيه سبحانك ربنا لا نحصي ثناء عليك أنت كما أثنيت على نفسك اللهم ربنا صلي وسلم مبارك على نبينا مصطفى الحمد لله أحباب we continue إن شاء الله تعالى tonight with سورة النساء the fourth chapter and we are told that there are 176 verses in this chapter. Ma'ana ismiha, what is the meaning of this word nisa? So we're told, an nuswatu wa niswatu wa nisa'u wa niswanu. All of these are variations, the plural form for the word imra'atun min ghayri lafdiha. So they are the plural form which is women. The singular being imra'a, but the plural does not come from the same root letters as the singular, right? Imra'atun, nisa'u, niswatun, very different. So, but it's telling us basically the plural of, of a woman, which is women, women, the plural form. Sababu tasmiyatiha. Why is it that this chapter is named an nisa? We're told, kathratu ma warada fiha min ahkamin tata'allaqu bin nisa'i. Because women are mentioned very uh, um, abundantly throughout this chapter. They are the focus of many different topics and issues throughout this chapter, as well as the other teachings that are associated with women and family and society. So because women being the main core focus, the chapter has taken on the name uh, of women. Other names for the chapter. Ishtuhirat bi surat nisa So naturally, it's famously known as an nisa Wa tusamma surat nisa il kubra Aw an nisa al It is also known as the major chapter for women, as well as the longer chapter for women. You're going to say, well, which one is the short one? When we get to that chapter, inshallah, you'll find out, bidnillah. So we'll keep this cliffhanger there, inshallah. Maqsaduha al am the general objective تنظيم الشؤون الداخلية والعلاقات الخارجية للمجتمع المسلم So it's about organizing and providing structure for internal family matters as well as the societal matters that are outside of the home. So this chapter focuses on those facts and those, those teachings that are essential for a healthy home as well as for a healthy society. The reason it was revealed. So we are told that it's a Medinan chapter. And we're not told of any particular reason why the whole chapter was revealed as a whole. But there are for specific verses within the Quran, the, this chapter, there are specific verses that have their own reasons uh, for which they were revealed. Fadluha, its virtues. We're told, Hiya mina saba. The only virtue that we have specifically that's authentic is the hadith that Imam Ahmed collected, where he told us that whoever learns this chapter, that it is from the first chap seven chapters of the Quran, that that person is a scholar. The last and final point is to see what is the connection between the beginning of the chapter and the end of the chapter. Faqala, بآخر مناسبة أول سورة النساء بآخرها الحديث عن أحكام المواريث. So it is focusing on the laws of inheritance. The beginning of the chapter and the end of the chapter, we find that basically it comes together because the focus deals with the laws of inheritance. فقال سبحانه في فاتحتها للرجال نصيب مما ترك الوالدان والأقربون. In the beginning, Allah the Mighty and the Majestic, He says that for man there is a portion of what the parents have left uh, of bequeathing or of, of their inheritance when they die as well as relatives. And He said in the end of the chapter, They ask you for a fatwa, O Messenger, say to them that Allah will give you that fatwa with regards to al-kalala, that's with regards to a person who passes away, who doesn't have parents, who doesn't have a spouse, who doesn't have children, but they have siblings. 
anyway, that's, that's among the different topics within inheritance. The second point is مُنَاسَبَةَ تَصُورَةِ النِّسَاءِ لِمَا قَبْلَهَا مِنْ سُورَةِ آلِ عِمْرَانِ How was النِّسَاء connected with آلِ عِمْرَانِ <coughs> We're told أُخْتُتِمَتْ آلُ عِمْرَانَ بِالْأَمْرِ بِتَقْوَ اللَّهِ عَزَّ وَجَلْ فَقَالَ تَعَالَى وَاتَّقُوا اللَّهَ لَعَلَّكُمْ تُفْلِحُونَ Allah Ta'ala concluded Ali Imran with a command to have taqwa of Allah, to have mindfulness and to be cognizant of Allah Azza wa Jal, saying, and be mindful of Allah so that you will be successful. وَفْتُتِحَتَ النِّسَاءُ بِالْأَمْرِ بِتَقْوَ اللَّهِ Azza wa Jal فَقَالَ تَعَالَى يَا أَيُّهَا النَّاسُ اتَّقُوا رَبَّكُمْ And Allah Ta'ala began Surah An-Nisa with the same command saying, O oh, humanity, be mindful of your creator, of your Lord, of your cherisher. So subhanAllah, we see once again the interconnectedness of the chapter in and of itself from beginning to end, as well as the relationship to that which came before it. Walhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen.